the, the position that is put is they've got to be smashed now, they've got to be obliterated, otherwise they will reform. You're saying well, they'll what, reform what is, anyway. What is all this smashing, uh, this, this, this talk, is, is just macho uh, braggadocio. You, don't, you, you can't by physical force destroy an idea or indeed much weaken it in some cases. By physical force, you can strengthen it, as has again been shown on many occasions. My own view is that Israel's the key to Israel's survival is public opinion in the Western nations, uh, in the, the remaining democratic free countries of the world. As long as Israel has their ultimate support, then Israel will survive. I think that since actually since 1967, when Israel was transformed by by very subtle propaganda uh, from David into Goliath. Uh, then that support has been slipping. It's interesting to reflect that in, until 1967, support for Israel in the Western countries generally came from the left wing of the political spectrum, and the right wing tended to be more sympathetic to the Arab cause. Now it's oddly and interesting the other way around. I think that needs to be, to some extent, reversed. I, I, I'm glad to see that more right wing people have come around to the idea that, that uh, a Jewish state might be an acceptable idea, but I think the left and radicals in general need to be re-persuaded. And the great mistake which Israel has made in, in, in this episode is that the horrors of October the 7th uh, were made something plain, which a lot of people have not, uh, until now, been readily able to grasp. What they made plain was that what Israel faces is not people who are acting on a grievance or who have a political case against them. What Israel was facing on October the 7th was people who hate Jews and want to kill them because they're Jews. And that's what was seen. The film is now there. The, all the body cam and CCTV stuff will tell you. And there have been exaggerations made of some of it completely unnecessarily, it seems to me. The horror of what was done by the Hamas invaders into Israel was so astonishingly hate-filled and so obviously uh, based upon racial bigotry against Jews, that it showed to anybody who has, and this particularly should be interesting to political radicals who rightly, best thing about them, who rightly hate racial bigotry in this part of the world, that this is what they face in that part of the world too, and they should be against it. But all this has now been obscured by Israel's, in my view, crazy decision uh, to respond by a bombardment of Gaza, which is both militarily useless and politically disastrous. Now, the whole world is concentrating upon the bombing of Gaza. I won't say October the 7th has been forgotten, but it's been eclipsed very greatly in the public mind. And, and so this enormous opportunity of, of, to educate people in what this is really about has been lost.